she had been forced into prudence in her youth. She learned romance as she grew older, the natural sequel of an unnatural beginning. The name of Anne Elliot has long had an interesting sound to me. If I dared, I would breathe my wishes, but the name might never change. A widow, Mrs. Smith. And who was her husband? One of 5,000 Mr. Smiths, whose names are to be met with everywhere. She had some feelings which she was ashamed to investigate. They were too much like joy. Mrs. Clay never forgets who she is. Captain Wentworth is not very gallant by you, Anne, though he was so attentive to me. As if women were all fine ladies instead of rational creatures. We none of us expect to be in smooth water all our days. Ah, my dear, when he had got a wife, he will sing a different tune. But yet, it was Captain Wentworth not comfortable, not easy, not able to feign that he was. No, Louisa, the jar is too great. I am determined, I will. (laughs) And you may guess who it is for, but it was not done for her. Everything that revolts other people Low company, poultry rooms, foul air, disgusting associations are inviting to you. I can listen no longer in silence. I must speak to you by such means as are within my reach. You pierce my soul. I am half agony, half hope. I have loved none but you. From the director who brought you our Webby Award honoree audiobook podcast production of Pride and Prejudice comes our latest Jane Austen adaption. Our not-for-profit community at Ballarat National Theatre is excited to share persuasion like you've never heard it before. With 20 actors bringing the characters to life, ambient sounds setting the scene and original music compositions to capture your heart and connect you to Austen's own words. Join us each week as we release new chapters. Find your preferred streaming platform at www.bnt.org.au forward slash podcasts. <laughs>